in the period of lockdown and to fight the battle of coronavirus it is very important for all of us to stay inside their homes now it's very difficult for many to stay inside home at such a long period we are at the yoga institute of mumbai we have with us director of the yoga institute mrs uh, hansa ji yogendra ma'am people are not used to it and the whole family staying inside yeah. a particular house together for such a long time many are actually face, uh, facing a uh, mental illness so what are the tips and what can this people do because it's a huge country so how can we cope with this well understand one thing very well that because of this corona virus everyone is under tension every member of the house is under tension and everybody has to stay in the house they can't go out children can't go and play with their friends ladies can't move out to get the right things for them and all these things man everybody is going through a very different phase of life and staying in the house whole family in the house together demands demands of everybody it is quite difficult i can understand but now in this situation humans are given with intelligence brain emotions are there but then emotions have to be handled positively in the same situation you can get frustrated negative fight with each other find faults in each other demand things from each other expect things from each other now this has to go because everybody is under tension and under tension nobody even thinks yeah. they speak whatever they want to speak don't give importance to what they spoke understand they are under tension so always have that compassionate feeling caring feeling loving feeling for everybody yeah. after all love is the base of the unity of family so they should have that so take a decision in life since this is the time that right now this is not the time to teach others or you know find faults in other and train others no right now it is a time to manage this tension and for that certain rules have to be followed no anger expression of anger frustration criticism at all okay. if i am angry i should sit quietly with my eyes closed i should not express my anger out because i will increase tension so i should be sitting quietly very often i am responsible for my emotions okay. i am angry i am disturbed i am upset i want to shout nothing do okay. you are not going to do that you will increase problem sit quietly go in the corner and sit quietly till your anger settles down so this is first discipline which we should have in life every human is supposed to maintain his balance his duty children forget they don't know about it and they will behave like a child but yes we grow up so this is one thing second in the family mind can be handled if mind is kept busy free mind is devil's workshop you know that yeah. no yeah. so you have to keep yourself busy and how are you going to keep yourself busy work house has lots of work to do lots first of all kitchen is the really stress buster place okay. kitchen everybody men may not have entered the kitchen in our country to it's always ladies who do the job but men should enter they should take dough in their hand make roll start rolling they should enjoy how the things are cooked and all that it is so beautiful i tell you okay. all the tension goes away so whole family should be together doing all the work together somebody will cut the vegetables somebody will do this somebody so this togetherness and when you are together you are not saying laughing at each other you are singing music works wonders so you are, you should be singing you should be playing that antakshari i song and another starts from that bring joy and joy in kitchen try and see that you make food but see that the food is not fried food not packeted food open the packet and eat open the bottle and drink don't do that that will go against your health freshly cooked food and eaten one nice dish you make decide what you will eat and join together and eat together four times in a day you are supposed to eat okay. so do that and eat only if you are hungry if you are not hungry just have a liquid in breakfast you may have what is called as herbal tea tea doesn't mean that tea it is 
milk boiled with uh, ginger, lemon grass, mint leaves or pudina leaves, whatever they are available, tulsi leaves, boil milk with, no, boil water with these things and then add milk and jaggery syrup in that and drink that. Water should be boiled, sometimes milk breaks because of ginger. Mm -hmm. So do that, glass full of that in morning breakfast, glass full of buttermilk, charge in the afternoon, glass full of lemon juice in the evening and a glass full of mixed vegetable soup or tomato soup or something at night. Okay. So all four times you are having a glass full of liquid. Okay. If you are not hungry, just have this liquid. If you are hungry, then eat other food, what you have cooked. So this discipline has to be followed. If no, then person is going to put on weight, let me tell you. And it would be absolutely more inconvenient, more diseases and more problem. And with stress, the problem mounts. So this is one direct thing. But now you are eating, what is the outcome? So yoga always says that you are supposed to do asanas, you are supposed to do pranayams. Now, I don't recommend that everybody should start doing Surya Namaskar if person has any health issue, cardiac patients or diabetics or people have backache problem and acidity and ulcers problem. They can't do such combination of asanas. Surya Namaskar is a combination of asanas. Mm. So you are supposed to do asanas individually, separately. Mm. Right in your bed, lie down and stretch your body. Okay. Stretch your body, so it's called a stick pose, a stick asana. Mm. Whenever you are sitting, stretch yourself up because you are under pressure, you are pressing yourself, going downwards. All the nerves are getting pressed because of tension. And so stretch yourself upwards. So do Parvatasana. Whenever you are standing, stretch your hands up and have a, what is called a tree pose. Okay. okay. Put your leg little behind, hold something and put your leg behind so you help your kidneys to circulate better because you are sitting for long, so kidneys have to work better. So f even these four or five things or even nothing else but just stand straight, taking the support of the wall and keep your hand up for some time and breathe from abdomen. Breathe in, stomach up, breathe out, stomach in. Beautiful exercise and that itself will help your body okay. to see that the tension of every muscle goes away. What is other thing is some walking, some moving is most essential. Now you can't go out, no bridge, no this, no garden. Mm. You have to be in the house. House is everything now. Whole world is in your house. In your house. And so in the house, standing at one place, go on moving your leg up and down, up and down. Mm. Huh? Do it for some time, five minutes. Just look at the watch and do it. Or sit, stretch your leg straight and start walking with hips. Okay. Even if you have a knee pain or a back pain, this would help you very much. Okay. So move your hips up, up, up and you will move further. Bring it back, back, you will move further. Practice and you will enjoy this game. Okay whole family should do all these things together okay. and that would be beautiful atmosphere also. <laughs> Other things like uh, trying and playing together works. I tell you walking is something which you should look at the watch and do all these things which I told you. Standing and walking, sitting and walking, lying down and stretching. 45 minutes you should spend on these things, 45 minutes to one hour, including asanas and all that. Even breathing, taking one long breath in and out really helps. Okay. It brings immunity high. Okay. Walking, you automatically breathe in and out, so natural breathing goes about. But separately also you should breathe fully in and out. So form a habit of taking a long breath mm. in and out. Do that and that would really help. Very often, whenever you remember, because now everyone in the family has taken his responsibility. Everybody has to be self-reliant, taking care of yourself and helping others mm. in the family. So that attitude is clear. So breathe in and breathe out very often in a day. Then. I always quote an example of founder of this institute who was Sri Yogendraji. He lived for 93 years, not a single day he was sick, 
never knew how to even gulp medicines. Perfect health. What was he doing? Every day for 20 minutes he would walk from one corner of the room to another corner. People very often complain, where is the place to walk? One room is there, no? that's enough. Just walk in and out, up and down, up and down, sometimes walk back, sometimes straight. Go on doing this, bring it interesting. You are walking fast, straight, come back behind, turn yourself back. So this is how in the house you should be doing the walking. And clock, watch, you should be burning your energy like this and that would help. So everybody should do that. And then everybody should play together. You are singing together while working, you should play together. Some very interesting games you can have, ball games, throw balls here and there, you are standing straight, your eyes are moving here and there, focusing on ball. Eyes have to be focused and that helps our optic nerves, memory, brain. So this simple exercise or glass full of water, put straw inside and blow the air in straw so bubbles will come. So these bubbles count, those bubbles, one person is counting, one person is blowing, beautiful, good for lungs, light a candle, blow off the candle, light the candle, increase the distance, blow off the candle, so you are doing all breathing exercises. And in game, with everybody around, and that's how we should be functioning to help ourselves. So all yoga talks like this. Yoga always says that you have duty towards yourself, duty towards near and dear, and then society. Of, importance of uh, hot water. <coughs> yes, that must be the moment you get up in the morning, you must drink a glass of warm water. Little hotter. I mean, it should be temperature should be more than your body temperature. Okay. So that temperature water. Peel half a lemon in that. That would do still good. Put little haldi, turmeric in that. Beautiful. And drink this glass full of water. Second, your breakfast. <coughs> your breakfast should be that you should see that you soak some nuts at night. Like two almonds to pistachio, to catch, if at all you have in the house, otherwise don't worry. <coughs> Ground nuts, moongfali, drink that, soak it at night and then in the morning you chew them up and drink this water. This would give you tremendous energy, good protein in your body. <coughs> <coughs> Importance of uh, drinking warm water warm doing? water, very, very important. You know, water's job is to wash away. And n not tea, coffee, no, water. Water, a any infection which goes into your system, water will wash it away, push it into the stomach, and in stomach your hydrochloric acid is very strong, it will kill okay. the infection. That's why water is most important. But first thing you should do, the moment you wake up in the morning is a glass of warm water, half a lemon inside, peel it, put haldi inside. <coughs> With all the infection around, haldi going into your body is very good. Haldi inside and then drink that water first in the morning. And then every two hours, I want people to drink water. Another thing, after eating food, little residues remain in your throat, no? Mm -hmm. After eating food, little oil remains. Mm -hmm. Wash it with half a glass of warm water immediately. Mm -hmm. That form a habit. So all these people suffering from asthma, allergies, and all that will not suffer from it because throat is absolutely hygienic. Mm -hmm. So this warm water is a must. And for coronavirus, though, it is very, very essential that we should be depending on warm water. Stop taking cold drinks totally. Okay. No cold things. Nothing. It should be freshly cooked and eaten food. That's mm -hmm. all. Mm -hmm. No frozen, deep frozen and all these things out. Even water like that. Water, have normal water in your matka. But as a medicine, take water every two hours.
Thank you so much, ma'am, for talking to us and very useful information given by Hansa Ji, who is the director of the Yoga Institute. And uh, let me tell you that uh, they are also conducting a live session on their uh, Facebook page in the morning from 8 to 8.45. And Hansa Ji herself gives uh, Pravachan in the evening from 6 to 6.30. Do listen to them. Do perform yogas at your home. And do stay fit. Stay home. Stay safe and stay fit. With camera person Sai Prasad Patil, this is Saurabh Vaktanya in Mumbai for India Today.